Making a mini power plant by Rafi. What we use? 10 feet of thin copper wire, bar magnet, meters to measure current. What we do? Wrap wire to coil 400 turns, attach wire ends to meter, move many inside coil. What happens? The matter neither moves. What happens? Moving the magnet makes current flow in the wire. Current makes the needle move. Electricity has a special relationship with magnetism. Magnetism can make electricity. Just then, lightning flashed and thunder cracked outside. The lights in the room flickered and went out. All the applicants stopped running. There's no electricity! Someone yelled. We're experiencing a blackout, said the freeze. Let's find out what happened. Lies out. A blackout happens when electric current stops flowing from the power plant to, com to the community. We're not going to stay here in the dark, are we? To the bus, everyone. Oh, I love buses. Soon, we were riding on the, the old school bus trying to find out what had caused the blackout. It wasn't long before we saw the problem. The lining had hit a tree and knocked it down. The falling tree had broken a power line. Sparks were flying everywhere. Electrons can run to our school because the pathway is broken. Where are the electrons when you need them? What is lining? It is electricity. When a storm happens, extra electrons stick to the tiny drops of water or ice. When enough of them gather together in one place, they jump. This is a boat of lightning. Lightning safety rules during a lightning storm. Do not stay outdoors. Go into a house, car, or bus. Do not use the telephone. Do not use electric applicants. Do not go near water. Pop! Let's get out of here, we yap. The freeze didn't waste a minute. She made a U-turn and drove away. It's smart to be afraid of drowned power line children. I must be extra smart. Be extra smart. Be smart. Be safe. Stay away from a downed power line. It could kill you. We looked back and saw electrical workers arriving. They were going to fix the problem. When we opened these breakers, we cut our powers to the down line. Now we can repair the line without getting hurt. Let's get this tree out of this way. It's later keep electricity away from poles. Electric lines are on the tops of the pole. Open breakers, cable TV, telephone lines, many power lines are underground. So wind and storm cannot damage them. Up ahead was the town's power plant. It looked like a little city of buildings. Inside those buildings is the equipment that makes electricity class Miss Freezer towers. Oh, let's feed it the power plant now, suggested Miss Freezer's niece. What a wonderful idea, Dottie, crowds for a feast. Hang on, everyone. When I grow up, I want to be just like my aunt Fall. Don't worry, you already are. How I fix a broken line? One, after we are sure all the breakers are open, we can begin work. Two, when we pull the broken ends together, rope and pulleys. Three, next we spl splice the wires together. Welcome. Splicer is like the Welcome. finger tie. The more you pull forward, the tighter it holds the finger, while we put the line back up. We close the break breakers again. Sit we down on to the next job. When we arrived at the plant, Miss Freezer gave her a hard proof suit and said, We begin our tour by observing the fuel supply. She puts a little button on the dashboard and the bus changed into a dump truck. Making a delivery, Miss Freezer yelled. Children, fuel is anything we burn to make energy. At my old school, we never got to burn up to make energy. Power plants are hot stuff. Most power plants use heat to make electricity. They burn fuels such as coal, oil, or natural gas. The good news, 
Fewer burning plants can make huge amounts of power. The bad news, they all make air pollution. Some plants get hit from nuclear reactors. The good news, these make huge amounts of power without air pollution. The bad news, they create nuclear waste. The dump truck team up and we went tumbling down a coal chute. We landed in a coal bin and slid right into a furnace of flame. Let's see what all the heat is used for, said Miss Freezer. What a barbecue! Did anyone bring hot dogs? Cleaner way to make electricity. Some plants can make electricity without fuel. Solar generators use sun energy. Your thermometer, your thermal plants use heat from inside the earth. Hydroelectric plants use energy of falling water. Windmills use wind energy. Tidal plants use the energy. Energy of the ocean tides. The bad news right now, we can get all the power we need from these sources. The good news, people can invent better way to use non-polluting sources. Overhead was a metal pipe with water in it. The fire was making the water boil, and the boiling water was turning to steam. Hold hands, everyone! Yelled the freeze. She jumped up to the pipe pulling us along. Coal into the stream pipe, everyone. That's where all the action is. What is steam? Steam is an invisible gas, gas made of water molecules, the tiniest bits of water. In a second, our whole class was inside the steam pipe. The steam was traveling at high speed, and we were too. Now we learn what all this steam is used for class. Con Miss Freezer, we steam along uh, the, through the pipe and into the next room in the power plant. Steam can do work by Shirley. When steam is heated in a closed container, it push out. We can use this pressure to do jobs for us. The steam in this part has push power. It's pushing up the lid. Woohoo! Full steam ahead! This steam is under high pressure class. I've never been comfortable in high pressure situations. And look where we are in the power plant. We are at the end part of the boiler. There was only one thing in the room, an enormous machine called a turb turbine. It had blades like a fan, and when the steam pushed on the blades, the turbine spun around. Hot, super hot steam go from furnace to turbine. Turbine comes from a word that means whirl or spin. The turbine had made a metal sharp spin too, which spun around, the soft and slid along to the next part of the power plant. Let's go look at what all the spinning is for, said the freeze cheerfully. We are too dizzy to reply. Now we will move to the generator. The steam turns the turbine, and the turbine turns the shaft. It's turning my stomach too! The shaft led us to the generator. The part of the plane that actually makes electricity. Electricity. The generator was really big, but it's for just one little one we had made in school. On the outside were cars flying. On the inside was the magnet. The shot to the magnet and the moving magnet made electricity current running in the wire. <coughs> then the current flow into a power plant on a large wire That's leading cool. out of the plant. Next, we will observe what all this electricity is used for, said the freeze. Suddenly, we began to get smaller, smaller, and smaller until we could fit inside the power plant. Marvelous magnetism. Almost all power plants use magnets. Without magnetism, we could not make large amounts of electricity. The power plant turns the magnet with steam power. In a mind, 
in a mini power plant, we move the magnet with arms power. <laughs> Plus, we are leaving the power plant by high voltage. Why? Oh, I love high voltage. I always thought of myself as a low voltage kind of person, said Arnold. What are volts? Volts measure push of electric current. The higher the voltage, the more pressure there to, is to push the current through the wires. Current leaves power plant at 24,000 volts.